If you want to see golf played faster, you've come to the right place. This is the 2017 United States Speed Golf Championships. Welcome, everybody. It's brought to you by PlaySpeedGolf.com, the home of speed golf on the internet. Speed Golf USA, Encore Golf Balls, makers of the Genius Golf Ball, and Rival and Rebel, makers of the revolutionary Silo Club Carrier. I'm Scott Dolly, your host, along with Alan Phillips. Alan, what's going on, man? Great to be here, Scott, and we are at the beautiful Golf Club of Houston, the hut site of this championship, playing about 6,300 yards on the golf course, almost six miles of running for these players. Yeah, Alan, tell us about what speed golf is for those who've never heard of it. So speed golf is a combination of golf and running. Basically, you take the number of strokes you play for a regular round of golf at the time that it takes you to play, and that gives you your speed golf score. And you run like this guy, right? Mac McLean, one of the fastest runners in the world of speed golf. So we had an amateur nine hole, an amateur 18 hole. Look at some of those scores, even up over 100, but doing it in just over an hour. Of course, Lauren Cup is our women's inaugural champion. And here we go, we've got Jason Hawkins just missing out by 10 seconds. Can you believe that? Joe Matsui, four-time Japanese champion. We had former world number one West Cup right there, but only four can make it. And here they are, George, Mac, Ari, and Steve. First hole at Golf Club of Houston, it's a par five, 481 yards, time par of 312. So you got to be careful out here. The wind's blowing actually off the left about 10 miles an hour. So you got this group of trees on the right. If you're not careful and you allow yourself to bail out, it could be a problem. Just want to lay up here short of this uh, bunker here under construction. Remember we had the uh, big hurricane and floods. All right, here we go. Ari Crum, first off. So Ari's a former world champion, 2014, former teammate of Tiger Woods in college. Tell us a little bit about this transition time. What is that clock there? So the transition time is the time you put your bag down till the time you hit the ball. So in regular golf, you have 40 seconds to do that. Unless you're, unless you're J.B. Holmes and take four minutes. Exactly. These guys, as you can see, Ari just took about nine seconds. Ari's got great running form. Super fast, isn't he? He's one of the fastest guys out here. And you can see Ari's off to the right. Might have some tree trouble. So now he's got a decision to make, and he went off to the right hoping to hit a big draw and it looks like uh, looks like he pulled it off. Yeah, Ari's left himself really the perfect angle. A little in the rough, but that should help him run the ball out toward that flag in the middle toward the back of the green. He's got the wind again from behind him, so. These greens were nice and firm. They were fast. You can see here they're rolling probably 10 and a half. We tried to make sure they didn't weren't rolling too fast. They easily could have gotten away from us, but great shot here from Ari to start out the finals. Yeah, kick in birdie. Keep in mind, these players have played 18 holes already, so Ari with a, a birdie on his 19th hole of the day. All right, great start. Let's see if Steve Vansel here can, uh, can keep it up. So Steve is a recent champion of the 2017 Washington State Speed Golf Open. Let's see what Steve's transition time is. And yeah, my guess is he's maybe going to be a little more methodical, but, you know, thinking about his club selection, his clubs, he actually, uh, Alan, didn't he get his clubs out of like a lost and found bag somewhere? So Steve's a teacher, and in the in the summer, he works at a local golf course, and basically he pulled his set out of a, a random assortment of clubs that have been left in the lost and found bin in his course. So Ari went off to the right and hit a draw. Looks like Steve here is going to loop it around, hit a nice big cut out there. Perfect. Perfect spot, center of the fairway. You can see the 100-yard marker out in the distance. So Steve has about 60 yards in. Taking a deep breath there. You know, that's automatic in speed golf. You kind of have to train yourself in regular golf to take those deep breaths. It ain't that hard in, in speed golf because you've just been chugging down the fairway. So... You know, these deep breaths are almost automatic. Good shot here. What is that, 20 feet? Yeah, about 20 feet. And notice that Steve, among his hodgepodge set, doesn't include a putter. Steve decides to putt with his four iron and actually does a pretty good job of it. Go ahead. So that's a routine par for Steve to start off. Nice. Two minutes, 50 seconds. That's how you do it in speed golf, guys. You make pars in under three minutes on par fives. Way to go, Steve. Now I have the gazelle, Matt McClain. All right, transition time, clubs down to ball strike. Looking for something under 10 seconds here. Yeah, notice Mac has decided to go without the bag. Yeah, I like that, Alan, because it, when you carry a bag, as you saw uh, with Steve, you kind of have to lock your shoulder, one of your shoulders. You don't get that, that regular and, and kind of normal running motion. 
Um, but look at Mac there. He's got you know both elbows back. He's running in a normal stride. Clubs down. Yeah, and I think when you only carry four clubs like Mac does, it's it's pretty easy to pull off without the bag. And you're not worrying about that extra weight also. Great layup by Mac. Perfect angle into this flag. What do you think Mac runs in between shots? At his fastest, he can get down to under five minute pace on the par threes, but for the most part, he's running somewhere in the five minute mile range. That's crazy. Okay, low chip. God, look how good this is. So I'm liking Great what I'm shot. seeing so far. Yeah, these guys, the, you can hardly tell they've played 18 holes already. I mean, if you're not a speed golfer and you, you're seeing this for the first time, are you impressed right now? I am very much so. Yeah, even as somebody who is a player, just to watch these guys and how fluid and efficient they are with their motions, there's no waste of time. It's really kind of the essence of golf. Mac in here with a par and, you know, two minutes and ten seconds. Just amazing. And now we have George Box all over from the United Kingdom. Again, remember, this guy was the 18-hole leader, so if this was only an 18-hole championship, he wins. But it's not. we got nine more holes of hole-by-hole -hole speed golf, what we call sprint golf. And George kicking it off with a six-minute transition time, almost a one fluid motion from dropping the bag till hitting the ball. Not six minutes, six seconds. Six seconds. Six minutes <laughs> is somebody else out on the PGA Tour, right? <laughs> So, yeah, but, you know, George is sneaky fast. So we had one person go around the tree with a draw, another with a slice. And George tried to go through it. <laughs> and he tried to go through the tree. Didn't work out. But, you know, what do you do at this point, Alan? You just need to get yourself out of trouble, get it back into play. The worst thing you can do is turn a bogey into a double. Yeah, like trying to go for the green right there again could have been really bad. So he's put himself in a good position to say, hey, look, if I can get this up and down, I'm saving par. If not, I'm walking away with a bogey. I still have the lead. Let's see how George plays this. Low runner, as you'd expect from someone who plays plays lots of British golf. Yeah, yeah. Just you can see him kind of shaking his head there a little bit, like you know. But you don't have time to think about it. You've got to step up, and already within two, three seconds, you know, you're hitting another shot. I couldn't ask for more than that right there. If I if I'd have taken forty seconds, I'd be looking for something right around six feet. Let's see if he can save his bogey with this. So Alan, he, God, this has got to go in. All right, so he's kind of let the field back into it now. It's a lot closer than it was a second ago. Still only two minutes and 30 seconds for his play on that hole. All right, so we're one hole into the finals. It looks like Ari Crum is now taking the lead. So he's gone from third to first, but we have three people within 30 seconds. That's not even one stroke, Alan. And Steve Vansel's still not far behind, only three back. All right, on to uh, the second hole. It's a short par four, 350 yards. They're gonna be looking to put it just put past that bunker on the right, leave themselves a nice little wedge in. It's easily accessible pin. Ideally, you wanna play yourself out to the right, leave you the best angle in. Aries going with the driver here. Not surprised, he, he loves his driver. And I thought, you know, he, he said he had driver, six iron, nine iron, sand wedge and putter, but it looks like there's a hybrid in there. Yeah, Ari, actually when he won the Speed Golf Championship back in 2014, because it was abandoned, he was able to hit his driver off the deck. So that tells you Whoa. what kind of player he is. Driver off the deck with a heart rate at 160 beats a minute. That's, that's a different kind of golf, folks. Another good approach there from Ari. All right, he's not letting up. So the former world champion's ready. He's eyeing down two birdies in a row right here. You need to be careful. This putt slopes away. It does. Actually, the front of the green, everything from the front of the green up to the middle of the green's uphill, and it just gets really sneaky over here. You know, Alan, sometimes that's where I feel like take an extra three seconds if you, don't, if you aren't sure of the line. Right, because by three putting when you should have made... Only taking only two putts there, he, he's giving the boy a shot needlessly. Here's Mac ripping it down the middle. Patented draw. And notice how, although Mac runs faster than everyone, he actually slows himself down to collect himself right before he hits the shot. Gives him that luxury by running so fast. If you go look at kind of the, uh, what we call the the ISGA metrics, <laughs> the, the, the uh, different metrics of, of speed golf. Um, he does. He takes three or four seconds longer than most people off the tee. 
and then he makes that up on the run. By the time he gets to the next shot, he's actually surpassed most other people. Great little lag here. That's what we're looking to do in speed golf. Interestingly, Mac, he has the option of dropping those clubs on the front of the green for this playoff round, but he's deciding to stick with his game plan and stick with the one-handed putting. Yep. Well, go with what got you there, I guess, is what he's thinking. Steve Vansel, perfect angle into this flag, and looks like he may have tugged it a little bit. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of room right. This flag is left, so a little bit of a misstep there, but again, great player, so... Yeah, it looks like he tried to get a little cute with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're jumping right to his bogey putt. All right. But that was a that was a clutch bogey putt because a, a double could have really taken some momentum away from him. In speed golf, if you're making bogey but you're running faster, it's you know they're eventually canceling themselves out. You don't want to make too many bogeys, but they happen. They happen. Looks like George tugged it a little bit too. All right, so we kind of got replay here of of Steve. Let's see if he can improve upon it. A low runner, mm -hmm. and nice he's played a pretty good shot there. George finished second this year in the British Speed Golf Champs. Losing by less than a, a stroke, really. And he lost to uh, Benyons, who shot 69 in 48 minutes. All right, hole two in the books here. Mac with the only par, and that launch us into the top of the leaderboard. All right, so Aries back in second, George stays in third, but again, we're within a couple of strokes of each other. Everybody's right there. This is our first chance at a par three, 163 yards. We're looking at just over a minute, minute and five for time par. You can we'll bail have. right here, you just can't go left. You don't want to be in that bunker, it's downhill away, away from you, so we know Mac again is going to be hitting a draw in here. And ball lands. What a shot. Yeah, Mac, Mac's halfway there already when the ball lands. <laughs> and you can see Mac, he's, he's really taking the governor off and goes all out in these par threes. Yeah, he looks like he's having fun. And that's, a, that's a, you know, a component of speed golf is how much fun you have while you're playing. And you have a lot of fun when you make birdies like this. Boom. 41 seconds. Birdie. There you go, Mac. Hey, guys, always fix your divots, too. Oh, no. Airy looks like... He may have tugged that one as well. That's right. He short-sided himself, so... He's got a case of the lefts right now. All right, Alan, we're over over the card path, over the bunker, short-sided. What do you say? Green's running away from him. This would be... Bogey wouldn't be bad here. Wow, great shot. But he's going to give himself a chance at par. That's, that's a 1 in the 20 shot right there. He's not going to take too much time with this. He's going to get the feel with his feet. And that is a great par. Nice. Loses a little time because he, he took that detour off to the left, but still a par is not going to hurt him here. Yep, same thing here with Vansel. He's in in 54 seconds with a par. Box will hit it out to the right, puts it up. He's in in 51 seconds. Well, typical par three for speed golfers. Everybody's in in under a minute. Usually you're making par. In group playing the hole in one under. That's right. But with that birdie, Mac, he's able to extend his lead slightly, but it's still pretty bunched up there. Hole four. Now, if people don't know, this is where they played the Shell Houston Open, 2003 and 2005. I remember VJ Singh trying to hit driver onto this hole, because you can, there's just, you've got these trees to the left, and it's just such a small area, most people aren't gonna do it. It's only 285. It's time par of under two minutes, so. You know, what we wanted to do here is give you kind of one camera angle and speed it up to show people, like, here's how fast speed golf actually happens if you're kind of watching it. But you saw uh, first three putt coming from Mac. Vansel's in there with his solid par. Here comes Airy trying to get up and down here for his par. He makes bogey. George needs to get back on track, looking to make par. Looks like he missed it left to the green. And now, okay, we got this putt right here, Alan. What a great save. Walks it in. Yeah, that was like, he walked it in from like four <laughs> feet. It's 
fifth hole, another par three, 149 over water. Water on the left comes into play. If you saw that bridge there, they're gonna hit off the tee box right next to the bridge and they're gonna cross the bridge, run up the right side of the hole. Fairly accessible pin, uh, but it's just visually intimidating. That bunker in front actually hides the, the putting surface a little bit. Yeah, and when you can't see it, sometimes you get a little quick. And it looks like that's what George did there, a splash. So he, he made a double there. Steve trying to save his par. Yeah, he missed out right, chipped it up. To, it was a good chip. He chipped it up to six, seven feet, missed the putt. Happens. Harry misses the green short right, trying to get it up and down. Right, so isn't that amazing? You know, it's a 150-yard hole, and yet three players haven't hit it. He hit it up to four feet and then missed that putt. Another smooth swing by Mac. But you know what I always say, Alan? If, if I want to make bogey, I want to make it in a minute and 15 make seconds. Make it fast. <laughs> make it fast, and let's move on. Speaking of fast, there goes Mac McLean running away from our cameras. <laughs> yeah, that guy was doing pretty good trying to keep up with him. It's Mac going for the skin on this Come hole. On. Routine two putt par to extend his lead. So, what is he? Even par right now. He burned the edge on one, burned the edge right there. Yeah, he's doing everything right. Yeah, and despite that, having to run off to the right to cross that path and then run toward the hole, he still plays in under a minute. Yeah, he's taking charge at this point. And he has a chance to extend his lead on this. Short par four, 332, par, time par of 212. Got to watch that OB on the left, so a common place is to see these guys bail out to the right. Right, because you're looking at the two bunkers on the left and you're thinking, don't want to go there. And they give you this, what feels like an affordable out to the right, and Matt got lucky. A little shot off the pine straw can place some spin on this to get a soft landing. Yeah, I mean, he's just unrelenting at this point. Look at that, so he two putts there. Makes his par. Here comes Steve. Nobody will be surprised. Oh, hum, another green in regulation right. for Steve Vansell. Yep. And look at the other two guys struggled a little bit. George with his bogey. Airy made a double. So now he's behind the eight ball. Max starting to put some distance on the field with only three holes to play. But as you can see, there's some water on this hole, the seventh, 404, time par of 242. And this is a chance where if Mac isn't careful, he can let the field back into it. Yeah, this is a signature hole out here. You're gonna have to carry that water. You're just gonna have to kind of take a deep breath and make it happen. So, but yeah, if Mac makes a mistake here and the other guys can make par, they can be back in it. And if they can sneak in a birdie, uh, then they're gonna be right back in the show. So Max splits the fairway, and this is perhaps the most important shot of the playoff coming up right here. You can see here. that 150 sign. He's got about 180, and hit a smooth hybrid. Solid contact. He's running after it. And it looks like he likes it. Now, what a great shot. Back of the green. Yeah, I mean, that's... I'd be aiming there. Yeah, that, that's the place to hit it. Take your chances with your two-putt there. So, severe sloping green. Don't know if you can see it on uh, on the TV, but watch this thing roll. And you just have to be pre prepared, really, no matter what. You're going to have a five or six footer. So, you got to step up. You got to try and make it. And I can kind of tell what he's doing there. He's got a he's got a quite a significant lead. Right. The bogey's not going to hurt him at this point. Yeah. Make the other guys make birdie. Yeah, and, and I love the component of speed golf, the strategy component. Especially in this in this sprint golf format. Steve Ansel, another fairway. Another fairway. Silly guy, Steve. Steve, they're having a great time. <laughs> I love it. These guys are on their eighth, ninth mile of the day. They were scoring for players earlier in the morning, volunteering, helping out. It's just a great crew to be around. And Steve with a seven iron to about 25, 30 feet left of the hole. This is a tough putt. He has to play it pretty far out to the left. You can catch see, up with it. See, he's going to beat the ball there. <laughs> <laughs> this to me is where, with four iron in hand, I mean, uh, let's see. What a great par. <laughs> Dead heart. Steve's a good player. He's a career best of 61 in regular golf. 
Yeah, and you know, if you go back and listen to his podcast on the pace of change, he actually played in a professional event not using his putter. Right. And he was in contention <laughs> until Sunday, and it kind of finally caught up with his brain, you know, th- thinking, man, I could win a golf tournament without a putter. All right, George has got to turn things on here. He swings so hard right there. Come on. Ooh. What a great shot. That was an inch an inch from disaster and really an inch from being tight, too. Yeah, the ball would have bounded forward if it goes another 12 inches. So interestingly, George has changed his putting style for this hole. He's oh, gone he's to the two-handed. He still has some work to do. Yeah, if the, he's going to stay alive, this has to go in. Oh, With a clutch par. Very nice. So Ari going with the driver. Should get this within sand wedge range. Yeah, I mean, coming off double, you're thinking, I got to go all for it. You know, I got to go all out here. And he did. He, he cut that one loose, and he should have just a little soft wedge into the green. All right, for me, I'm, I'm looking out right at this hole, actually, with the sand wedge. Yeah, there's a little bank there. He can kind of bounce it off. Let's see where he ends up. Mm. Can't be happy with that shot. It's kind of the bailout. You know, right at the end, you give it a little extra. You know, you don't want to be in the water, but this is definitely the toughest putt of the four. And he's he, too, is going to be waiting for his ball on the other side of the hole. So he got a good look at it as it rolled past. The ball got a good look at the hole, too. And you know what? He didn't take the uphill into account. That was right in the heart. Yeah, that was a sloppy bogey. So Mac makes bogey, but most importantly, he avoids disaster on that hole. That's That was really the main objective there for him. So he's opened up a good lead. Three shots over George and five shots over Ari and Steve here. Coming into Allen a hole, hole eight, only 141 yards. It'll be tough for the guys to make up shots on this hole as well as time you'll expect to see some pretty fast times on this hole it's nice yeah, and flat we're going to do an encore 100 yard dash here so from the time they tee off uh to the time they get to this 100 yard encore 100 yard dash sign we're just going to see how quick are these guys and remember this is their you know uh 10th 20th, 11th mile of the day right right exactly so here we go george remember george has his bag on too trying to run a 100 yard dash I'm telling you, Alan, he, he really, <laughs> look at him move. He's, he doesn't have max speed, but he's close. Yeah, 14 seconds. Again, he drops that bag. Mm. Let's see if he can get this to yeah, fall. This, this could go. This needs to go. Oh. All right, solid par, 39 seconds. Par in 39 seconds. Steady Steve. Yeah, bringing it in low right off the uh, leading edge there. Good result. I mean, I'll take it. The only thing, Alan, is now he's past the hole. When you go past the hole in speed golf, it, it actually adds some time to your score because you have to run past the hole and then run back with your ball. You know, these kinds of, of putts with a four iron just, to me, would seem impossible. And yet... He almost drains it. Can't tell you how good that is. So good. Nice, under a minute. Yeah, that's a tough two putt even with a putter. And here's Mac off to the races. Expect to see about 12 or 13 seconds for 100 out of Mac. And oh, by the way, another shot tight. Yeah, look, the cart is full pedal to the ground. I mean, when I'm running, I, if, the, if I can keep up with the cart, that's good. Maybe go a little bit faster. Just leaving it in the dust, hitting it to six feet. Everything is working. Yeah, if Matt can make a two here, that would pretty much seal up the championship. Yeah, it's like the putt on the last hole. Still not bad. The yeah. par is, is exactly what you need here. I just don't think he wants to, you know, run it six feet by the hole. That's right. kind of what's going on. And let's see if Eric can knock it tight, too. Yeah, and Eric's five back, so at this point... He needs to knock it tight. He's got to go birdie-birdie. Ooh. Oh, it's very possible. Still plenty of speed in those legs on this... 26th hole of the day. Right. And he runs with a T in his mouth, Alan. That's unique. Heart. Great putt. 39 seconds. All right, well, he's doing his job. We got a green card here. That's good. 
It's another par three under par for the group. So Max holding in about three shots over George. It'll be tough to catch up for George, but there is some water on this hole, this 18th, a par five, almost 500 yards. Uh, Mac does need to keep it on the dry land, but it is an eagle possibility for these other guys. Three and a half minute time par, so you can see it's a long hole. Uh, I don't know, Alan, I mean, Max looks like he's got it in the bag. He's playing so good. These guys are gonna have to do something incredible. Looks like Ari started it out real good. He just hit a bomb out there. If anybody can get there in two, it's this guy. Yeah, he's got that hybrid in the bag. So nice. it looks like he may have gotten himself into a little trouble there. Yeah, actually, no, that there was his fourth shot. So he's putting right here for par. So didn't turn out like he wanted, but this could sneak in. Makes a bogey. Still yeah. two, two minutes and 40 sevens. Right. 40 seconds, 47 seconds to make a bogey. Steady Steve. Center cut in another fairway. Yeah, not surprised to find him in the fairway. And same deal here. He hit a couple of shots and now he's got this chip here for par. Get in. And just missed. So it looks like he's probably gonna make bogey in just right around three minutes. Oh, rare miscue mm. from Steve. The fatigue may have been catching up to these guys at this point. Yeah, two over to that point and second best score, you know, in the finals up until then. George with a vicious lash at a driver. Needs an eagle. Needs an eagle, man. This is kind of the last chance here from the group to catch Mac McLean. Right in the middle of the fairway, though. So he's going with an iron. He's going to lay it up and, and hope to make an eagle with his wedge. Again, nice quick transition from George, hardly any time. Maybe gives it one extra look there. 115, 120 yards, slightly uphill, but it looks like he fanned it just a bit. So all his hopes are resting on this little chip right here. Yeah, it didn't quite hit it, so. It's a great save, two minutes and 35 seconds. Solid plan by George. So glad he came over to play. And now Mac, this is pretty much a coronation at this point. Yeah, I'd say right now we're watching the champion take off from the tee. You know, the cart, the cart driver with the camera finally figured out he's got to drive early just to stay ahead of Mac. As you can see, he's already behind there. And Mac taking a little bit of extra time just to make sure he's... he's sews this up. He is, but I feel like he had the best routine today. Yeah, he stayed consistent for the most part. He's just, he's clubs down in the same way every time. Look at that. Gives it one look. This is his fourth shot, so this is a birdie chip. You know, by this time, now you're on, you know it's over. <laughs> right, you still want to make a, you still did. want to make this putt, finish with a par. This would be great to see this fall. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 United States Speed Golf Open Champion, Mac McLean. Way to go, Mac. Off to his victory lap. How impressive is that, Alan? That was some great playing by Mac. Great, great playing by all the guys, but Mac playing probably the best golf we've ever seen from him on the, the Speed Golf Tour. And you know, we're really seeing Speed Golf in a way that we've never seen it before. So here we go, Mac shooting three under in the finals, shooting 36 on that nine holes in 14 minutes. And this is, remember, as you said, a PGA Tour golf course. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching this inaugural coverage of the United States Speed Golf Championships. It's Speed Golf like you've never seen it before. Just want to thank all of our volunteers. Alan, thanks for coming. What's coming up next, man? I guarantee you've never seen Speed Golf like this before. And 2018 is going to be a great year in the world of speed golf. Yeah, it's got. everybody go to playspeedgolf.com and check it out. You can get involved this year. It's the year it's all happening. Let's pick up the pace, guys. Thanks for watching.